I want you guys now to welcome back a guy that you know and love from last year, high in demand, Rock and Rob Schiffman. Hi, I'm Rob Schiffman, actor, musician, improviser, keynote speaker of The Power to Pivot, and the MC at your next meeting. Apparently, a couple of you uh, wanted to know a little bit more about me. Um, uh, first of all, I'm married, so... <laughs> um, but, um... <laughs> As an award-winning MC, I'll use both my improvisational and musical skills to bring an interactivity to your meeting that'll keep the meeting fun, moving, and memorable. I'll interview audience members and or execs, and then I'll turn that information into songs on the spot. Is there a person? There is. What's the person's name? Will Johnson. Will Johnson! Is Will here in the room? He is. Are we just coming out? Like, is this the first time? Is anybody... <laughs> are you cohabitating? We are. Oh, isn't this amazing? Do you agree with all this, Will? Or are you like, I have no idea who this chick is? But here you are, and you're with us today, and it seems your life is going okay, and it seems there are things that just give you a thrill, and one of them happens to be your coworker, Will. How great! Is there a, a lady in your life? There are a few. <laughs> well, let's zone in on the top three, shall we? <laughs> Are you married, Marianne? I am, yes. And, and uh, what's, your, uh, what's your spouse's name? Topper. His name is Topper. Yes. Topper, okay. Mike told us about the foundation and the great work they all do, of course. And we learned Ron's been dating. He's got a million babes waiting. And Marianne married a horse. <laughs> In two of these interviews, I'll bring a sense of fun and play where everyone is made to look good and everyone is in on the joke. Hi, Kim Ferguson. How are you? Oh, I'm good. So, Kim, how long have you been here? Two days. Two days? <laughs> and uh, where do you live? Louisville, Kentucky. So are you planning on commuting? I'm not working here. Where do you work? <laughs> I'm in, in Louisville. I'm going to be in Indiana. Are we fighting? <laughs> <laughs> I have twin three-year-olds, so I don't have a lot of free time. You have twin three-year-olds? I like to think of that as just one six-year-old. <laughs> but they're completely different. Tell us what you mean. Yeah, she likes to boss them around. Um, and um, they're just into completely different things. Kind of reminds me of me and Kim Ferguson, actually. <laughs> When working with your guest speaker, I'll moderate an appropriately toned interview that will help their content to stand out and to connect to the goals of your business. We think about tech startups, you know, we, we, we imagine a bunch of folks in, the, in their garage four in the morning eating Doritos and doing their, you know, their work on this small budget. Where do you see the role of a large company like IBM in that stratosphere, you know, the folks that are eating their Doritos in the day, say? Um, that's a great question. As a keynote speaker, my message is around the power to pivot. With takeaways around such topics as listening, flexibility, and presence, my interactive keynote will arm your audience with the ability to stay present in those moments that go awry. The power to pivot is the power to remain present no matter the circumstance. Life doesn't go as we expected. Life never goes as we planned. Those moments in your business life, in your personal life, when things go awry, can be moments of chaos, or they can be moments of perfection. You've got that PowerPoint presentation, that presentation that you've worked on for weeks. You've got that 30 minutes with that key stakeholder that becomes that five minutes because they've got a previous commitment. You get in there and your PowerPoint doesn't even show up on the screen. These are the moments where we freak out, we panic, we drop the ball, we run screaming. But we don't have to do that. We have other options. We can, in that moment, quiet ourselves. We can listen to ourselves. We can accept our circumstances, and we can arm ourselves with the power to turn those mistaken moments into gifts. That is the power to pivot. But in order to do so, we have to be able to listen to ourselves in the moment. We have to be able to accept our circumstances, not only accept them, but embrace them. If we can do that, 
we can turn those mistaken moments into gifts. The power to pivot is all about that possibility, the possibility of taking the unexpected and turning it into gold. Whether keynoting or emceeing, it's important for me to meet with your team ahead of time so that I can become familiar with your business and well-versed in your company culture. I'll then use that information to create customized content, including monologues, sketches, original or parody songs, along with customized music tracks that I can record and play live to. Yeah, me, yo, you're just all the rage, so please come on out to the stage. Oh, welcome to Accelerate, so much here to celebrate, it's different, it's better now. Yeah. As a character actor, I can appear in your meeting videos. It's all about innovation. Our investors care about the new products that we're bringing to market, so we really need to focus on- Could you those. please slow down, sir? I'm trying to transcribe this in colonial calligraphy. I invented that, you know. And then that same character can appear live on stage. 2010 first acquisition, Max God's on a mission, row our robot automation, medication store. Whether I'm performing pre-written or on-the-spot songs, interviewing executives, playing content-based characters live and on video, emceeing out in the audience, or keynoting from the stage, I'll make sure your messages are delivered and your takeaways are underscored in a way that's fun, exciting, and memorable. I'll bring an energy that makes you, your team, and your company shine. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Look forward to working with you at your next meeting. And there's John Rarig, he's from Wisconsin. And when he was in grade eight, he set a world record for playing the longest game of Monopoly ever inside a tent. I guess there's not a lot to do in that state. <laughs> oh, sing with me, I'm a Lenovo fan. Sing with me, you're so great. And channel partners you make us accelerate there we go